Blasphemy Law, Wikipedia Article Audio A blasphemy law is a law prohibiting to blasphemy, which is irreverence or insult toward holy personages, religious groups, sacred artifacts, customs, or beliefs. They are among the oldest and most enduring of hate speech laws. In some states, blasphemy laws are used to protect the religious beliefs of a majority, while in other countries, they serve to offer protection of the religious beliefs of minorities. By country Afghanistan In addition to prohibitions against blasphemy or blasphemous libel, Blasphemy laws include all laws which give redress to those insulted on account of their religion. These blasphemy laws may forbid, the vilification of religion and religious groups, defamation of religion and its practitioners, denigration of religion and its followers, offending religious feelings, or the contempt of religion. In some jurisdictions, Blasphemy laws include hate speech laws that extend beyond prohibiting the imminent incitement of hatred and violence. Some blasphemy laws, such as those in Denmark, do not criminalize speech that expresses critique, but rather, sanctions speech that insults. Although not affirming blasphemy laws outright, Article 20 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights obliges countries to adopt legislative measures against any advocacy of national racial or religious hatred that constitutes incitement to discrimination, hostility, or violence. In a number of Christian states, blasphemy laws may criminalize abusive or scurrilous speech about Christianity, and oftentimes, other religions and their adherents, as such offenses have the tendency to lead to a breach of peace. In a number of countries where Islam is the state religion, Islamic Sharia law is the principal legislation, or affects the laws of the country. Blasphemy in Islam is impious utterance or action concerning God, Muhammad, or anything considered sacred in Islam. The Islamic holy book, the Quran, admonishes blasphemy, but does not specify the punishment. The Hadiths, which are another source of Sharia, suggest various punishments for blasphemy. An Islamic State, Afghanistan prohibits blasphemy as an offense under Sharia. Blasphemy can be punished by retaliatory penalties up to and including execution by hanging. Algeria Although 99% of Algeria's population is Sunni Muslim, and the constitution declares that Islam is the state religion, Algeria uses retaliatory legislation rather than Sharia to combat blasphemy against Islam. The penalty for blasphemy can be up to 10 years of imprisonment and a fine. Australia abolished and repealed all blasphemy laws at the federal level with the Australia Criminal Code Act 1995 but blasphemy laws remain in some states and territories. The states, territories, and the Commonwealth of Australia are not uniform in their treatment of blasphemy. Blasphemy is an offence in some jurisdictions but is not in others. The last attempted prosecution for blasphemy by the Crown occurred in the state of Victoria in 1919. Australia In Austria, a section of the penal code relates to blasphemy. Bangladesh forbids blasphemy by a provision in its penal code that prohibits hurting religious sentiments, and by other laws and policies that attack freedom of speech. In April 2013, Prime Minister Sheikh Hassan rejected calls for new laws from radical Islamist groups, notably Hefahati Islam, demanding death penalty for people involved in blasphemy. She described Bangladesh as a secular democracy, where every religion had a right to be practiced freely and fairly, 
and that if anyone was found guilty of hurting the sentiments of the followers of any religion or its venerable figures, there was a law to deal with it. Art 208 of the Penal Code states that publicly vilifying an act or object of religious worship is a crime punishable with one month to one year of prison, or fine. Austria Blasphemous libel is a crime in Canada under Section 296 of the Criminal Code RSC, 1985, c. c. 46. Subsection reads Bangladesh Subsection reads Brazil Over the summer of 2016, a petition to Parliament asking that the blasphemous libel law be repealed was circulated by several Canadian humanist groups. The petition was presented to the government in December 2016. It responded in January 2017, stating that blasphemous libel, along with numerous other provisions of the criminal code, are presently under review by the minister and her officials. On June 6, 2017 Bill C-51, an act to amend the criminal code was introduced in the House of Commons by Justice Minister Jody Wilson-Raybould. The act would repeal Section 296 of the Criminal Code relating to blasphemous libel, as well as various other provisions of the Criminal Code which have been ruled or may be unconstitutional. China, officially an atheist state, banned a book titled Sing Feng Su, which had insulted Islam, and placed its authors under arrest in 1989 after protests in Lanzhou and Beijing by Chinese Huawei Muslims, during which the Chinese police provided protection to the Huawei Muslim protesters, and the Chinese government organized public burnings of the book. The Chinese government assisted them and gave in to their demands because Huawei do not have a separatist movement, unlike the Uyghurs. Huawei Muslim protesters who violently rioted by vandalizing property during the protests against the book were let off by the Chinese government and went unpunished while Uyghur protesters were imprisoned. Canada In 2007, anticipating the coming year of the pig in the Chinese calendar, depictions of pigs were banned from CCTV to avoid conflicts with ethnic minorities. This is believed to refer to China's population of 20 million Muslims. In response to the 2015 Charlie Hebdo shooting Chinese state-run media attacked Charlie Hebdo for publishing the cartoons insulting Muhammad, with the state-run Xinhua advocated limiting freedom of speech, while another state-run newspaper Global Times said the attack was payback for what it characterized as Western colonialism and accusing Charlie Hebdo of trying to incite a clash of civilizations. In Denmark, paragraph 140 of the Penal Code was about blasphemy. Since 1866, this law has only led to two convictions in 1938 and in 1946. A further charge was brought to court in 1971, but led to acquittal. In 2017 a man was charged with blasphemy for posting a video of himself burning the Koran on social media under the parole Yes to Freedom, No to Islam. The related hate speech paragraph is also used, albeit more frequently. In 2012, a survey indicated that 66% of Denmark's population still supported the blasphemy law, which made it illegal to mock legal religions and faiths in Denmark. Before 2017, abolition of the blasphemy clause was proposed several times by members of the parliament, but failed to win a majority vote. The law was repealed on June 2, 2017 several days before the 2017 charge was due to come to trial. 
while public insults of a religion are no longer forbidden, speech and actions threatening or demeaning certain groups of people because of their religious beliefs continued to be punishable. Article 98 of the Egyptian Penal Code, as amended by Law 147-2006 states the penalty for blasphemy and similar crimes. Confinement for a period of not less than six months and not exceeding five years, or a fine of not less than £500 and not exceeding £1,000 shall be the penalty inflicted on whoever makes use of religion in propagating, either by words, in writing, or in any other means, extreme ideas for the purpose of inciting strife, ridiculing or insulting a heavenly religion or a sect following it or damaging national unity. China In Finland, Section 10 of Chapter 17 of the Criminal Code relate to blasphemy. The section is titled Breach of the Sanctity of Religion, but the law text explicitly mentions publicly blaspheming against God. Unsuccessful attempts were made to rescind the section in 1914, 1917, 1965, 1970, and 1998. Denmark The writer Hanu Salama was convicted of blasphemy for his 1964 novel Johannistan Sit. In 1969 Haro Koskinen was prosecuted and fined for works including his painting Pig Messiah, a crucified pig, the works were later displayed in museums. Jussi Halaho, who later became a member of the Parliament of Finland, was fined for making connections between pedophilia and Islam in his 2008 blog text. 188 vilification of religious teachings. The definition of blasphemy was introduced into French law in the 13th century, based on the definition given by St. Thomas Aquinas, a sin of language, a failure to declare one's faith, thus representing an attack on the purity of religion. This justified punishment by law, which became extreme during the reign of Louis IX. Later canonized by the Catholic Church as St. Louis, he became obsessed in his fight against heretics, Jews, and Muslims, and set the punishment for blasphemy to mutilation of the tongue and lips. According to the Articles 10 and 11 of the 1789 Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen the notion of blasphemy was eliminated from French law in 1791 but it continued to prohibit the use of abusive language or disturbance of the peace. Sacrilege actions towards the cultural objects became a crime in 1825 during the Bourbon Restoration, to be revoked under the less conservative Louis Philippe in 1830, and religious insult was introduced by the Act of May 17, 1819. It was definitively removed from French law by the Act of July 29, 1881 which instituted freedom of the press. As of 2017, and since 1972 with the ratification of the European Convention of Human Rights, French law proscribed hate or violence against, and slander or libel against people due to their membership of a religious group, nationality, ethnic group, race, sexual orientation, or handicap. The Act of 1881 protects individuals and groups of individuals against defamation or insult, but not the divinities like Jesus Christ and their doctrines as for blasphemy. 295 Injuring or defiling place of worship, with intent to insult the religion of any class, 295a. Deliberate and malicious acts intended to outrage religious feelings of any class by insulting its religion or religious beliefs, 296. Disturbing religious assembly, 297. Trespassing on burial, places, etc., 
298. Uttering words, etc., with deliberate intent to wound religious feelings. The Alsace Moselle region was a specific exception, as it was annexed to Germany from 1871 to 1918, and therefore, when the religious insult law was repealed in the rest of France, the German penal code replaced the pre-1871 French law but the local law in Alsace-Moselle retained in some few elements in 1919, like the religious legislation and the Articles 166 and 167, when it reverted to France. This included a ban of blasphemy against Christianity and Judaism, without mention of Islam. But since the dispositions of Article 166 were not among those finally transposed officially in French law since the Act of June 1, 1924, whose Article 1 and 1s introduced as well in Alsace-Moselle the generally referred to Act of July 29, 1881, then translated into French in 2013 by the decrees N2013-395 and particularly N2013-776, they received no application since then, as the appeal court of Colmar refused to apply this article in 1954, contrary to Article 167. The Minister of Justice replied to some senators that Article 166 was already implicitly repealed because contrary to the French fundamental law. Its validity could have also been questioned by a court since 1975 and by a prioritary question of constitutionality since 2008. In response to the Charlie Hebdo attack, the French Parliament symbolically repealed this long-dormant Alsace-Moselle blasphemy law in January 2017 which was implicitly unenforceable before. Egypt Finland France Germany In Germany, Religious defamation is covered by Article 166 of the Strafgesetzbuch the German criminal law. If a deed is capable of disturbing the public peace, defamation is actionable. The article reads as follows. 295. Injuring or defiling place of worship, with intent to insult the religion of any class, 295a. Deliberate and malicious acts intended to outrage religious feelings of any class by insulting its religion or religious beliefs, 295b. Defiling, etc., of Holy Quran, 295c. Use of derogatory remarks, etc., in respect of the Holy Prophet, 296. Disturbing religious assembly. 297. Trespassing on burial places, etc., 298. Uttering words, etc., with deliberate intent to wound religious feelings, 298a. Use of derogatory remarks, etc., in respect of holy personages, 298b. Misuse of epithets, descriptions, and titles, etc., reserved for certain holy personages or places, 298c. Person of Kadayani group, etc., calling himself a Muslim or preaching or propagating his faith. In 2006, the application of this article received much media attention when a Manfred Van H. was prosecuted for defamation for distributing rolls of toilet paper with the words Koran, the Holy Koran stamped on them. Beyond the sentence he also received death threats from Islamists and needed a police bodyguard. In February 2016 a man was fined 500 euro for displaying anti-Christian bumper stickers on his vehicle. Articles 198, 199, and 201 of the Greek Penal Code create offences which involve blasphemy.
Article 198 Malicious Blasphemy Provides Article 199 Blasphemy Concerning Religions States, one who publicly and maliciously and by any means blasphemes the Greek Orthodox Church or any other religion tolerable in Greece shall be punished by imprisonment for not more than two years. Public and malicious insult or mockery of religious convictions of others, malicious desecration objects of religious veneration, malicious prevention, disruption, or public mockery of an act of worship, malicious desecration of a place or object that is intended for a religious ceremony or an act of worship. Article 201 provides, one who willfully removes a corpse, parts of a corpse or the ashes of the dead from those who have lawful custody thereof or one who commits an offense with respect to a corpse or acts blasphemously and improperly toward a grave shall be punished by imprisonment for not more than two years. Greece has not used its laws about blasphemy to protect any religion other than the Greek Orthodox Church, which is the State Church of Greece. In December 2003, Greece prosecuted for blasphemy Gerhard Haderer, an Austrian, along with his Greek publisher and four booksellers. Haderer is the author of an illustrated, humorous book entitled The Life of Jesus. The prosecutor contended that the book's depiction of Jesus as a hippie was blasphemous. On April 13, 2005, the Court of Appeal of Athens, reversed the judgment of the Court of First Instance, and acquitted Haderer. Greece complements its laws against blasphemy with laws against religious insult. The laws forbid the creation, display, or trade in work that insults public sentiment or that offends people's religious sentiments. The right to redress for a religious insult has so far been restricted to Christians. Greece the Icelandic blasphemy law was repealed on July 2, 2015, after a strong push by the Icelandic Pirate Party. Formerly, blasphemy was forbidden with a fine or prison sentence up to three months. The constitution also mentions the state religion and religion in general. Section 295A of the Indian Penal Code has been used as a blasphemy law to prevent insulting Christianity, Islam, and Hinduism. The British era Section 295A of the Penal Code which was created by Christians who ruled India is extant and has not been repealed, it contains an anti-blasphemy law. Section 295A was introduced in 1927 to prevent hate speech that insults or attempts to insult the religion or the religious beliefs of any class of citizen with deliberate and malicious intention to outrage their religious feelings but the main purpose of this law has been to maintain public order in a multi-religious and religiously sensitive society. An important difference between the offence in the Indian Penal Code and English common law is that the defendant must have a deliberate and malicious intention of outraging religious feelings in the Indian Code while English common law had no such inclusion. Section 295A has, nevertheless, been used a number of times to prevent free and honest discussion on religious issues and remains a threat to freedom of expression. The same Section 295A appears in the Penal Codes of Pakistan and Myanmar where it is used as a blasphemy law. There have been widespread calls in India from Hindus to repeal the regressive British Code. Iceland India Indonesia In India, many people are arrested in accordance with the above-mentioned laws. Cases include those of, Kam Lesh Tewari, Tarek Bazvas, and Sanal Edamariku. Many books are banned for blasphemous content. Article 156 of Indonesia's Criminal Code forbids anyone from deliberately, in public, 
expressing feelings of hostility, hatred or contempt against religions with the purpose of preventing others from adhering to any religion, and forbids anyone from disgracing a religion. The penalty for violating Article 156 is a maximum of five years of imprisonment. An Islamic theocracy, Iran derives its law against blasphemy from Sharia. The law against blasphemy complements laws against criticizing the Islamic government, insulting Islam, and publishing materials that deviate from Islamic standards. In Ireland, blasphemy against Christianity is prohibited by the Constitution and carries a maximum fine of Euro 25,000, however the offense of blasphemous libel last prosecuted in 1855, was ruled in 1999 to be incompatible with the Constitution's guarantee of religious equality. A controversial law was passed on July 9, 2009 and went into effect on January 1, 2010. The law prohibits publishing or uttering matter that is grossly abusive or insulting in relation to matters held sacred by any religion, thereby causing outrage among a substantial number of the adherents of that religion. The law had not been invoked until in 2015, English comedian Stephen Ferry when asked during En Route program what he might say to God at the gates of heaven, responded, without specifying any religion. I'd say, bone cancer in children, what's that about? How dare you create a world in which there is such misery? It's not our fault. It's not right. It's utterly, utterly evil. Why should I respect a capricious, mean-minded, stupid God who creates a world which is so full of injustice and pain? The God who created this universe, if it was created by God, is quite clearly a maniac, an utter maniac, totally selfish. Iran An allegation of blasphemy was made to police at the time, and in 2017, police contacted Ferry to inform him that the incident was being investigated. News of the investigation caused a big stir but a few days later it was reported that the Garda had dropped the case as there was no injured party. The police, the Garda Siachana, could not find enough people outraged over the actor's anti-God remarks. One individual complaint alone cannot result in a prosecution under the legislation and only one viewer made a formal complaint against Fry's comments. The complainant said that he was not personally offended by the program but simply believed that the comments made by Fry on route were criminal blasphemy and that he was doing his civic duty by reporting a crime. In Israel, blasphemy is covered by Articles 170 and 173 of the Penal Code. The law is traced back to the British High Commission the Abuse and Vilification Order No. 43 of 1929, enacted in efforts to suppress the 1929 Palestine riots. The order contained the language, any person who utters a word or sound in public or within earshot of any other person that may be or is intended to offend his religious sensitivities or faith can expect to be found guilty and eligible for a one-year jail sentence. In Italy, under the Article 724 of the Penal Code, blasphemy in public is considered as an administrative offence and punished with a fine ranging from 51 to 309 euros. First introduced in 1930 under Mussolini, blasphemy was decriminalized as per Art.57, D.LGS. N.507 of December 30, 1999. As per Corte Costituzionale sentence N.440 of October 18, 1995, the law punishes only blasphemy against the deity.
Jordan's penal code prohibits anyone from blaspheming Islam, demeaning Islam, or Muslim feelings, or insulting Prophet Muhammad. Violating the prohibitions makes the violator liable for imprisonment and a fine. Malaysia prevents insult to religion and to the religious by education, by restrictions upon the broadcasting and publishing media, and by the legal system. Some states in the Malaysian Federation operate Sharia courts to protect Islam, and, when Sharia is not applicable, the Malaysian Penal Code provides penalties for offences against religion. Instead of a law against blasphemy, Malta had laws against the vilification of religion, and against immorality. Enacted in 1933, Article 163 of Malta's Criminal Code prohibited vilification of the Roman Catholic Apostolic Religion, which is Malta's religion. Vilification of Malta's religion made the vilifier liable to imprisonment for a term from one to six months. By Article 164, vilification of any cult tolerated by law made the vilifier liable to imprisonment for a term from one to three months. Article 338 imposes liability upon anyone who, even though in a state of intoxication, publicly utters any obscene or indecent words, or makes obscene acts or gestures, or in any other manner not otherwise provided for in this code, offends against public morality, propriety, or decency. Article 342 provides. In 2008, criminal procedures were initiated against 621 people for blaspheming in public. In July 2016, the Parliament of Malta repealed Articles 163 and 164 of the Criminal Code, the country's blasphemy laws. The crime of apostasy is defined in Section 4 of the Mauritanian Penal Code, established under the Order of July 9, 1983. Article 306 Paragraph 1 of the Criminal Code indicates, every Muslim guilty of the crime of apostasy, either by word or by action of apparent or obvious, will be invited to repent within three days. Ireland Israel Section 295A and 298 of the Myanmar Penal Code are used to prosecute people for blasphemy. The Myanmar Penal Code shares a common origin with the penal codes of Pakistan and India and other British colonies in the Penal Code of 1860. The offences are Chapter 15 Italy Of offences relating to religion Jordan Kuwait Malaysia Malta Mauritania Myanmar Netherlands New Zealand Nigeria Norway Pakistan Philippines Poland Qatar Section 295 and 295A carry a maximum penalty of two years imprisonment, a fine, or both, and sections 296, 297 and 298 a maximum of one year imprisonment, a fine, or both. Section 295A was added to the Penal Code by a legislative amendment in 1927 and was intended to protect religious minorities. It was a response to a perceived need to prohibit incitement against Muslim minorities by Hindu nationalists in India, but is now used in Myanmar to protect Buddhist nationalists against prosecution for incitement against Muslim minorities. In December 2014, 
bar owner Tun Thurin and bar managers Dut K. Olwyn and New Zealander Philip Blackwood who ran the Vigastro bar in Yangon were arrested and sentenced in March 2015 to two and a half years of hard labour after posting a psychedelic image of the Buddha wearing headphones to promote their bar on the internet. In June 2015, writer and former National League for Democracy Information Officer, Hdin Lin Oo was sentenced to two years of hard labor for violating Section 295A. The charge resulted from a speech in which he accused several prominent Buddhist organizations of extreme nationalism with particularly reference to Ashin Wirathu, who has been accused of hate speech and incitement of violence against Muslims by international observers many times since anti-Rohingya violence erupted in 2012. The Netherlands prohibited blasphemy by a provision in its penal code from the 1930s up until December 2013. Article 147 punished anyone who publicly, orally, or in writing or depiction, offends religious feelings by scornful blasphemy. Furthermore, Article 429 BIS prohibited displaying blasphemous material at places visible from the public road. The law came into being in the 1930s after the Communist Party called for Christmas to be dropped from the list of state holidays. The last successful conviction under Article 147 took place in the early 1960s when a student newspaper was fined 100 guilders for satirizing the New Testament. The law against blasphemy complements laws against racial discrimination and incitement to violence. In 1966, the Public Prosecution Service prosecuted Gerard Reve under Article 147. In his novel Nader Taught You, Reve describes the narrator's sexual intercourse with God, who is incarnated in a donkey. The court of first instance convicted Reve. He appealed. In April 1968, an appeal court quashed the conviction. In November 2008, Justice Minister Ernst Hirsch Ballin expressed the country's coalition government's intent to repeal Article 147. He said the government would strengthen the legislation against discrimination to prohibit any insult to any group of people. In May 2009, the government decided to leave the law as it is. The decision followed a high court ruling in which a man who had put up a poster that read Stop the two more that is Islam was found not guilty of insulting a group of people on the grounds of their religion. The decision not to abolish the ban on blasphemy was partly motivated to ensure the support of the Orthodox Christian SGP for the minority government in the Senate. After a general election in 2012, a new coalition government was formed and a majority of parliament pledged to support a proposal to repeal the blasphemy law. In November 2012, parliament decided to overturn the blasphemy laws. It would pass with support from the VVD, but the fundamentalist Christian group SGP were strongly opposed to the measure. According to the SGP, the decision to lift the ban on blasphemy is a painful loss of a moral anchor and a symptom of a spiritual crisis. On February 1, 2014, the law on blasphemy was officially abolished. In New Zealand, Section 123 of the Crimes Act 1961 allows for imprisonment up to one year for anyone who publishes any blasphemous libel. Cases are only prosecuted at the discretion of the New Zealand Attorney General, who usually cites overriding free speech objections so as not to pursue such a case. The only prosecution for blasphemous libel in New Zealand was the case of John Glover, publisher of the newspaper The Maori Island Worker, in 1922. Glover was acquitted.
Nigeria prohibits blasphemy by Section 204 of its Criminal Code and by permitting Sharia courts to operate in some states. Vigilantism frequently usurps the jurisdiction of the courts. In 2009, the Norwegian parliament voted to remove the dormant law against blasphemy. It was, however, removed from the Penal Code of 2005, which is active starting from October 2015. The famous writer and social activist Arnulf Verland was the last to be tried by this law, in 1933, after giving a speech named Christendom and Ancient Land Plage, but was acquitted. The last person sentenced for blasphemy in Norway was Ern Fred Olsen in 1912, and he had to pay a fine of 10 Norwegian krona. More people are on death row or serving life sentences for blasphemy in Pakistan than in any other country in the world. The anti-blasphemy laws in Pakistan are quite complicated. Offenders may be vigorously prosecuted. Chapter 15 of Pakistan Penal Code deals with offences relating to religion. There is a death penalty for blasphemy in Pakistan. Those prosecuted are usually minorities such as Ahmadiyya and Christians but it seems that they are also increasingly other Muslims. Persons accused of blasphemy as well as police, lawyers and judges have been subject to harassment, threats, attacks, and murders when blasphemy is the issue. In November 2008 Pakistan's government appointed Shaubaz Bhatti as federal minister for minorities and gave him cabinet rank. Bhatti had promised that the Asif Ali Zardari government would review Pakistan's blasphemy laws. Pakistan has been an active supporter of the campaign by the Organization of the Islamic Conference to create global laws against blasphemy. Minister Bhatti was shot dead on March 2, 2011 in Islamabad, the capital of Pakistan. On March 19, 2014, Pakistani English-language newspaper, The Nation, conducted a poll of its readers that showed 68% of Pakistanis believe the blasphemy law should be repealed. In September 2016 a 16-year-old Christian teenage boy, Nabil Kohan, was arrested in Pakistan after he liked a Facebook post that was allegedly blasphemous. According to Punjab police the teenager, was jailed and was awaiting trial for sharing the post on social media. In November 2017 an obscure Islamist group Tariq i Labaki Rasul Allah Pakistan in Pakistan staged a sit-in in the capital Islamabad. They forced the government to abandon an amendment to the oath sworn by election candidates that allowed for a variation in the oath because of the candidate's religious beliefs. They also caused the law minister Zahid Hamid to resign. Crimes against religious worship are stated under Section 4 of the Revised Penal Code of the Philippines. Under Article 132 and 133 respectively interruption of religious worship and offending the religious feelings are punishable by law. Interruption of religious worship is defined as preventing or disturbing the ceremonies or manifestations of any religion and offending the religious feelings is defined as performing acts notoriously offensive to the feelings of the faithful in a place devoted to religious worship or during the celebration of any religious ceremony. Penalties range from imprisonment of four months and a day to six months. Crimes that involve violence or threats can carry a penalty of up to six years in jail. While Poland's penal code makes no reference to any sort of blasphemy law, it states that whoever offends religious feelings of other people by publicly insulting an object of religious cult or a place for public holding of religious ceremonies, is subject to a fine, restriction of liberty or loss of liberty for up to two years.
The article has been used by pro-church politicians and activists on numerous occasions, whenever they felt their religious feelings had been offended in some way. Opponents of the article maintain that due to its vagueness it is prone to abuse by seriously limiting the freedom of speech and effectively preventing any kind of debate on the Church's widespread influence on social, sexual and political life of Poland. A notable conviction on the basis of this law was that of the pop singer Dorota Dota Rabczewska who in 2012 was fined for the amount of 5,000 zlotys for saying in an interview that the Bible was written by people drunk on wine and smoking some kind of herbs. Her complaint was rejected by the Constitutional Tribunal which confirmed the law did not violate the Constitution. The penalty for committing blasphemy in Qatar is a jail sentence of up to seven years. Additionally, the law stipulates a one-year prison sentence or QR 1,000 fine for defamation of Islam by producing or promoting defamatory imagery. Religious criticism on websites is censored in Qatar. The censorship office of the Qatar General Broadcasting and Television Corporation monitors imported foreign broadcasting for sensitive religious content. As of 2016, Romania does not have any blasphemy laws in force. According to Romanian law, cults, religious associations and religious groups must not infringe upon fundamental human rights and liberties which, according to the Constitution of Romania, include freedom of conscience and freedom of expression. In May 2011, a national liberal deputy proposed a bill for the prevention of religious intolerance, which would have criminalized blasphemy. The bill was withdrawn however later that month. After the Pussy Riot incident, Russian lawmakers started considering a bill proposing prison sentences for desecration. The State Duma investigated the situation of sacrilegious acts against church property and proposed amendments to the Russian Penal Code in their 2012 autumn session. The Union of Orthodox Citizens and MP of United Russia supported the proposal, the latter stating, we really should make some amendments to the penal code in order to cool down these outcasts who have nothing else to do in their lives other than commit such offences. The bill was accepted June 11, 2013. According to Art.148 of Russian Criminal Code 1 it is declared a federal crime to conduct public actions, clearly defying the society and committed with express purpose of insulting religious beliefs. Part 2 of the same article places a stricter punishments for the aforementioned actions, when coupled with desecration of holy symbols and religious texts. Islam is Saudi Arabia's state religion. The country's monarchy follows Sunni Islam. The country's laws are an amalgam of rules from Sharia, royal edicts, and fatwa from the Council of Senior Religious Scholars, they prescribe penalties up to the death penalty for blasphemy. Blasphemy is a common law offense in South Africa, defined as unlawfully, intentionally, and publicly acting contemptuously towards God. Several legal writers have suggested that the illegality of blasphemy has become unconstitutional as a result of the adoption in 1994 of the Bill of Rights, which includes the right to freedom of expression. It has also been suggested that it is unconstitutional because the criminal prohibition only applies to blasphemy against Christianity, and therefore discriminates on the basis of religion. Blasphemy prosecutions have been rare since the start of the 20th century, to the point that writers in the early part of the century suggested that the crime had been abrogated through disuse. However, in 1934 a newspaper editor was convicted of blasphemy for publishing a story in which a nun has a vision of a sexual relationship with Jesus Christ, and the validity of the conviction was affirmed by the appellate division.
In 1962 Harold Rubin was prosecuted for a painting depicting Christ naked on the cross along with inversions of biblical sayings, but he was acquitted. In 1968 the editor of Varsity was prosecuted for publishing a report of a symposium on the topic Is God Dead? which quoted statements that we must write God off entirely and is beginning to stink. He was convicted, but at sentencing received only a caution and discharge. The Equality Act of 2000 forbids hate speech which is defined as words based on one or more of the prohibited grounds, against any person, that could reasonably be construed to demonstrate a clear intention to, be hurtful, be harmful or to incite harm, promote or propagate hatred. The prohibited grounds include religion, and thus some blasphemous speech falls within the scope of hate speech. The prohibition of hate speech is, However, not a criminal prohibition, and only civil penalties would result. The Article 525 of the Penal Law in Spain considers vilification of religious feelings, dogmas, beliefs, or rituals. This extension to dogmas and beliefs makes it very close to a blasphemy law in practice, depending on the interpretation of the judge. For instance, in 2012 it was used to prosecute a famous artist, Javier Craji, for a scene in a documentary about him. He was discharged the same year. Sunni Islam is the state religion of Sudan. Before South Sudan received independence, about 70% of the country's population was Muslim. The next largest group about 25% of the population was animist. Section 125 of the Sudanese Criminal Act prohibits insulting religion, inciting hatred, and showing contempt for religious beliefs. The section includes as penalties, imprisonment, a fine, and a maximum of 40 lashes. In November 2007, the section gave rise to the Sudanese teddy bear blasphemy case. In December 2007, the section was used against two Egyptian booksellers. They were sentenced to six months in prison because they sold a book that the court deemed an insult to Aisha, one of Prophet Muhammad's wives. In May 2005, the authorities arrested Mohammed Taha Mohammed Ahmed and charged him with violating section 125. Ahmed was the editor-in-chief of a daily newspaper al Fake. The paper had published an article about a 500-year-old Islamic manuscript which says the real name of Mohammed's father was not Abdallah but Abdel Lat, or Slave of Lat, an idol of the pre-Islamic era. A court fined Al Wifake 8 million Sudanese pounds. The paper was shut down for three months but acquitted Ahmed. Ahmed was found decapitated in September 2006. There is presently no act prohibiting blasphemy in the Swedish law. In Sweden, a general principle developed during the 20th century was that religion should be regarded as a private matter. Historically, Sweden had a blasphemy-specific law introduced by King Eric XIV in 1563 that specifically protected religion, followed by similar acts until 1949, when it was replaced by an act on peace of faith which was a milder form of restriction. In 1970, the 1949 Act was repealed and a new Act was introduced on agitation against a specific group of people. The new Act focuses on minority groups of a specific race, skin color, national or ethnic origin, faith, or sexual orientation. Thus, the Act does not protect religion as such, but the group of people adhering to the religion. 
The new act parallels religious faith with the protection of people on the grounds of ethnicity or sexual orientation and has mostly been used in cases concerning agitation in relation to Jews and homosexuals. In Switzerland, Article 261 of the Penal Code titled Attack on the Freedom of Faith and the Freedom to Worship criminalizes Article 216 of the Turkish Penal Code criminalizes blasphemy and religious insult, as well as hate speech. The article, which is in the fifth section of the Turkish Penal Code is as follows. The United Arab Emirates discourage blasphemy by controlling what is published and distributed, by using Sharia punishments against Muslims, and by using judge-made penalties against non-Muslims. Blasphemy laws in the United Kingdom were specific to blasphemy against Christianity. These blasphemy laws were historically defended with the following reasoning, the law is needed to uphold the national law, which is based on Christianity. Thus, targeting Christianity is targeting the very foundation of England. The last attempted prosecution under these laws was in 2007 when the evangelical group Christian Voice sought a private prosecution against the BBC over its broadcasting of the show Jerry Springer, the opera. The charges were rejected by the City of Westminster Magistrates Court. Christian Voice applied to have this ruling overturned by the High Court, but the application was rejected. The court found that the common law blasphemy offences specifically did not apply to stage productions of the Theatres Act 1968 and broadcasts. The last successful blasphemy prosecution was White House v. Lemon in 1977, when Dennis Lemon, the editor of Gay News, was found guilty. His newspaper had published James Kirkup's poem The Love That Dares to Speak Its Name, which allegedly vilified Christ and his life. Lemon was fined £500 and given a suspended sentence of nine months' imprisonment. It had been touch and go, said the judge, whether he would actually send Lemon to jail. In 2002, a deliberate and well-publicized public repeat reading of the poem took place on the steps of St. Martin in the Fields Church in Trafalgar Square, but did not lead to any prosecution. In 1696, a Scottish court sentenced Thomas Aikenhead to death for blasphemy. The last prosecution for blasphemy in Scotland was in 1843. The last person in Britain to be imprisoned for blasphemy was John William Gott on December 9, 1921. He had three previous convictions for blasphemy when he was prosecuted for publishing two pamphlets which satirized the biblical story of Jesus entering Jerusalem, comparing Jesus to a circus clown. He was sentenced to nine months' hard labor. In 1985, the Law Commission published a report, Criminal Law, Offences Against Religious and Public Worship, that concluded that the common law offences of blasphemy and blasphemous libel should be abolished without replacement. On March 5, 2008, an amendment was passed to the Criminal Justice and Immigration Act 2008 which abolished the common law offences of blasphemy and blasphemous libel in England and Wales. The Act received royal assent on May 8, 2008, and the relevant section came into force on July 8, 2008. The 1989 film Visions of Ecstasy was the only film ever banned in the UK for blasphemy. Following the abolition of the blasphemy laws in 2008, the film was eventually classified by the BBFC for release as 18 rated in 2012. A prosecution for blasphemy in the United States would be a violation of the U.S. Constitution and no blasphemy laws exist at the federal level.
the First Amendment to the United States Constitution provides. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press. Because of the First Amendment's protection of free speech and religious exercise from federal interference, and the Supreme Court's extension of those protections against state regulation, the United States and its constituent state governments may not prosecute blasphemous speech or religious insults and may not allow civil actions on those grounds. In Joseph Burston, Inc. v. Wilson, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in 1952 that New York could not enforce a censorship law against filmmakers whose films contain sacrilegious content. The opinion of the court, by Justice Clark, stated that From the standpoint of freedom of speech and the press, it is enough to point out that the state has no legitimate interest in protecting any or all religions from views distasteful to them which is sufficient to justify prior restraints upon the expression of those views. It is not the business of government in our nation to suppress real or imagined attacks upon a particular religious doctrine, whether they appear in publications, speeches, or motion pictures. The United States and some individual state jurisdictions provide for stronger criminal penalties for crimes when committed against a person because of that person's religious or some other affiliations. For instance, Section 3A1.1 of the 2009 United States Sentencing Guidelines states that, if the finder of fact at trial or, in the case of a plea of guilty or nullo contendera, the court at sentencing determines beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant intentionally selected any victim or any property as the object of the offense of conviction because of the actual or perceived race, color, religion, national origin, ethnicity, gender, disability, or sexual orientation of any person, the sentencing court is required to increase the standard sentencing range. Accusations of blasphemy in Yemen are often aimed at religious minorities, intellectuals, and artists, reporters, human rights defenders, and opponents of the ruling party. Vigilantism or abuse by the authorities can kill an accused or force them into exile. The accused in Yemen is subject to Islamic law. Sharia, according to some interpretations, prescribes death as the proper punishment for blasphemy. The common law offences of blasphemy and blasphemous libel were abolished in England and Wales in 2008 with the passage of the Criminal Justice and Immigration Act. Other countries to abolish or repeal blasphemy laws include France in 1881, Sweden in 1970, Norway with X in 2009 and 2015, the Netherlands in 2014, Iceland in 2015, Malta in 2016, France for its Alsace-Moselle region in 2016, and Denmark in 2017. Australia abolished and repealed all blasphemy laws at the federal level in 1995 but blasphemy laws remain in some states and territories. Article 20 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights obliges countries to adopt legislative measures against any advocacy of national racial or religious hatred that constitutes incitement to discrimination, hostility, or violence. In July 2011, the UN Human Rights Committee released a 52-paragraph statement, General Comment 34 on the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights 1976, concerning freedoms of opinion and expression. Paragraph 48 states, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation have petitioned the United Nations to create global laws criminalizing insults to religion. Romania Russia 
Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Spain, Sudan, Sweden, Switzerland. Three United Nations Special Rapporteurs The Special Rapporteurs on Freedom of Religion or Belief, on the Right to Freedom of Opinion and Expression and on Contemporary Forms of Racism, Racial Discrimination, Xenophobia, and Related Intolerance released a joint statement during the Durban Review Conference in Geneva in 2009. They stated that, the difficulties in providing an objective definition of the term defamation of religions at the international level make the whole concept open to abuse. At the national level, domestic blasphemy laws can prove counterproductive, since this could result in the de facto censure of all interreligious and interreligious criticism. Many of these laws afford different levels of protection to different religions and have often proved to be applied in a discriminatory manner. There are numerous examples of persecution of religious minorities or dissenters, but also of atheists and non-theists, as a result of legislation on religious offenses or overzealous application of laws that are fairly neutral. The Rabat Plan of Action on the Prohibition of Advocacy of National, Racial, or Religious Hatred that Constitutes Incitement to Discrimination, Hostility or Violence Conclusions and Recommendations Emanating from the Four Regional Expert Workshops Organized by the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, in 2011, and adopted by experts in Rabat. Morocco on October 5, 2012 stated that, at the national level, blasphemy laws are counterproductive, since they may result in the de facto censure of all interreligious slash belief and interreligious slash belief dialogue, debate, and also criticism, most of which could be constructive, healthy, and needed. In addition, Many of these blasphemy laws afford different levels of protection to different religions and have often proved to be applied in a discriminatory manner. There are numerous examples of persecution of religious minorities or dissenters, but also of atheists and non-theists, as a result of legislation on religious offenses or overzealous application of various laws that use a neutral language. Moreover, the right to freedom of religion or belief, as enshrined in relevant international legal standards, does not include the right to have a religion or a belief that is free from criticism or ridicule. The plan of action recommended that, states that have blasphemy laws should repeal these as such laws have a stifling impact on the enjoyment of freedom of religion or belief and healthy dialogue and debate about religion. The Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe in Strasbourg, France, which has been deliberating on the issue of blasphemy law, the resolution that blasphemy should not be a criminal offence, adopted on June 29, 2007 in the Recommendation 1805 on blasphemy, religious insults and hate speech against persons on grounds of their religion. This recommendation set a number of guidelines for member states of the Council of Europe in view of Articles 10 and 9 of the European Convention on Human Rights. In place of blasphemy or in addition to blasphemy in some European countries is the crime of religious insult, which is a subset of the crime of blasphemy. As of March 2009 it is forbidden in Andorra, Cyprus, Croatia the Czech Republic, Spain, Finland, Germany, Greece, Italy, Lithuania, Norway, the Netherlands, Poland, Portugal, Russian Federation, Slovakia, Switzerland, Turkey, and Ukraine. On October 23, 2008, the Venice Commission, the Council of Europe's advisory body on constitutional matters, issued a report about blasphemy, religious insult, and incitement to religious hatred. The report noted that, at the time in Europe, blasphemy was an offence in Austria, Denmark, 
Finland, Greece, Italy, Liechtenstein, the Netherlands, and San Marino. Turkey United Arab Emirates United Kingdom United States Yemen Repeal Defamation of Religion and the United Nations European Initiatives <laughs>